Please turn off all cell phones, rise for a moment of silence and pledge of allegiance. Stockis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Panarino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Cool, I'm sorry, Kulsek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 present, one absent. Okay, I'll call on Minority Leader Chris Ekes to present a certificate recognizing January as National Mentoring Month to Nancy Kozlowski, Executive Director of Big Brothers Big Sisters. young ladies that showed up to accept this and be here and uh, we're going to hear a little bit of a story or a couple stories about some of the programs. I also want to uh, thank our chairman Steve Brescia for allowing us to do this and the reason why we're recognizing National Mentoring Month is actually for ourselves, the legislature. I wanted them to understand the types of programs that we actually invest money into on a year-to-year -year basis and how worthy these programs are. So uh, with that, let's start with Nancy Kozlowski, uh, Executive Director of Big Brothers Big Sisters. Thank you. Good morning. It's been a pleasure to be the Executive Director of Big Brothers Big Sisters for the past 37 years. It is a, it is a program that can be transformational in a child's life. Having that one-to-one -one mentor, a child that's facing adversity, has an opportunity to be guided through activities, conversations, and new opportunities to shape that life now and in the future. We're able to do that through the power of our volunteers and the support that we receive from the Orange County Youth Bureau and other resources. Through our program, we provide community-based mentoring, site-based mentoring, where we engage business individuals, retirees, and college students working with children at school and at sites such as Mount St. Mary College and West Point Military Academy. I have seen the transformation in the lives of children through these years, children who have really overcome a lot of challenges through the magic of caring. And I'm going to introduce you to an alumni big sister and a current big sister that are going to share their mentoring stories. Good morning. Um, I'm Ann Miller, and 30 years ago I became a volunteer at Big Brothers Big Sisters. And I began mentoring a 14-year-old from a single parent family that was living on welfare. And um, she was traumatized by abuse. That's just that. She's been successful. She went to college. She went to grad school. She volunteers in her community. She has been happily married for 10 years and recently adopted two children had been living in an orphanage abroad for over six years. Our, our relationship had a, a multi-generational effect. During the time that I've just described, she babysat my children, she mentored my niece while she was at college. She 
It helped my daughter find the courage to tell me that she had become pregnant. And, uh, you know, it would take me hours to tell your story. 30 years is a long time. She confided to me a few years ago that it was the example of my own marriage that made her believe that a good marriage was possible for her also. And so she's busy. She's giving back. And I don't know that she even realizes that she's doing that. But the impact that mentoring has, sometimes you don't see it right away. It's over time. So it's not that immediate impact like you think of with an accident or a meteor. It's more the silent one that has effects for years and years and years. I always felt that I got a lot more than I gave. And I still feel that. My name is Barbara Babikian. I'm a new um, big, big sister, just recently in November, um, of a 16-year-old girl who was also traumatized and abused. So, um, sorry. So, what was She chose the Bronx Zoo. How many 16-year-old girls would choose the Bronx Zoo? I gave her my camera, taught her how to shoot it. She did not give it back to me for the two, three hours. We photographed every animal. And when I developed the um, photos, I was amazed how great it was. So I had the opportunity to offer her possibly a career, a passion for something. Um, I'm introducing her to my husband, who she so she can trust men again. And she, uh, she had asked me one time, is Glenn going to be there? And I was like, oh gosh, maybe she's afraid. And I said yes, and she smiled, and she said great. So, um, and one other thing, I asked her about um, driver's education in school, and she says, well, I'm not going to get my license. I said, well, why not? She goes, well, I don't even have anyone to help me learn how to drive. So I said, I will help you. Take my car. I said, what you can do once you get a job, once you have a car and a license, you can get a job. You can help your family out. And it's just made such a difference. And I can't wait for all the many more years to come. <laughs> After that. <laughs> I have two hats. I am also a former mentor. I had a little sister for what was supposed to be one school year, I thought, and ended up being her entire elementary school career. Uh, and it was beautiful. Uh, I feel I was blessed so much more uh, than she was. I used her to connect with my middle child because they were the same age, so I had her give me that inside information so I could speak my language. But I'm also here representing the Youth Bureau, and I just want to thank you for the opportunity for the legislators to hear just a small sample of the beautiful impact our programs have on youth and families in the county. We come, we present, we give you sheets, but it's hearing the firsthand stories, I think that really makes the difference. And thinking of your tax dollars, uh, I can say that they are definitely used very well by this agency. We monitor them for program quality and for efficiency. And not only are we paying for the staff to work with the mentors, they're also working with the littles and they're working with the families. So they're really providing intensive case management that a lot of people don't realize is happening. So the agency has a lot of challenges. Uh, not only are they trying to get funding like everybody else, but they're trying to get hundreds of volunteers to give up their time throughout the year. So there's a double challenge there. You can't hit the same or twice for money and time sometimes. But thank you again for the time, and I just applaud you for the, the great work that you do. 
closing comment, it is truly a program of hope and inspiration. And you know, I know firsthand, I've been a big sister. My little sisters are doing awesome. And volunteers are so critically needed. Men are needed. I have a long list of boys that are waiting for a good male role model to guide them into their tomorrow. Thank you. <laughs> she looked at me when she said that. <laughs> Melissa, as a mentor, every day depends on... Well, I, I actually, um, as a school teacher, and you know, you, you encounter, um, you don't always know those students who have troubles beyond the classroom and beyond school, but sometimes you become privy to that knowledge and it just blows your mind away and, and you become a mentor to those students, you know, not just a teacher. But um, one thing I wanted to say, when I attended college at the University of Scranton, I was a mentor, not with this organization, but it was similar. And I was assigned five teenagers. And this is not about me, but what I wanted to say was what you do. And the biggest challenge in the beginning was gaining the trust of the teenager, very angry, and the family, if they were lucky enough to have a family member they lived with. Um, but after that, what a rewarding experience, and I commend you. Um, both of you, all of you, you know, with, with what you do, because a lot of teenagers don't have that role model. Um, you know, you hope they have it at home. A lot of them don't. You hope they have it in school. Um, and if they don't have that, it's nice to know that you're there to be that mentor to them. So I say kudos to you. Okay. I want to, you know, compliment you. It's certainly obvious, uh, obvious what you're doing so, so important in terms of that jumping off point in people's lives, but I think what's really important for me, and it probably steps away from you, Ms. Progression, and the leadership of the legislature, is we do commit a lot of resources to lots of really good programs, but we never get the opportunity to look in the face of the people we give money to, and look in the face of what they really do and feel with. And I think we should be talking about how do we hear from other people that are doing this. This is a great opportunity for us to listen to our community and see what they're doing and why we really need to help them. So thanks for doing this. I'd just like to thank you ladies for coming today and especially thank you to Chris for uh, bringing you here today and, and showing us, uh, telling us what a good job you do. And Nancy, 37 years is a long time doing what you do. It's, uh, <laughs> that's really benevolent. And, and all what you do is benevolent. And those were great stories, Barbara and Ann. Um, very inspiring. I'm sure these young boys and girls uh, really help you as much as you help them in a lot of, in large measure. So thank you for all that you do, and I'm sure you work hand in hand with Rachel. And uh, on behalf of the legislature, we definitely appreciate your efforts. And uh, we'll present you with this certificate, which reads a Distinguished Service Award of County of Orange, presented to Orange County Youth Bureau, National Mentoring Month, for promoting youth mentoring in Orange County, given the 17th day of December. Chris E. Gissing, Ms. Anybody signed up for public participation? No? Okay, any referrals with consensual withdrawals? Okay, numbers 1 through 23, it says here. We'll start with one. Okay, not collectively. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I was hoping for. <laughs> okay, number one. Legislator Benton, resolution levying the cost and expenses of property maintenance in the town of Goshen pursuant to provisions of town law and the town of Goshen code. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagdastakis, Benton, Berkman, Benelli, Cantorino, Chini, Diller, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, 
Colosec Paduke Briskevich Sullivan Turnbull Vero Brescia. 20 ayes, 1 absent. Okay, A2 receive and file number two. Legislator Benton, resolution accepting and confirming the report of the clerk of the legislature of the apportionment of the county budget as adopted for the ensuing year. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulsek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. A3, receive and file number three. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the report of the clerk of the legislature of the apportionment of the town budgets and levying upon the respective towns for town purposes, pursuant to Article 8 of the town law and upon the respective districts thereof for district purposes, pursuant to the several provisions of the town law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekins? Yes. Amo? Yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. A4, receive and file number four. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the summaries of taxes and special assessments to be levied in the special town, several towns, districts, and cities, and directing the extension of said taxes on the assessment rolls pursuant to section 900 of the real property tax law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekins? Yes. Amo? Yes. The Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Diller, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number five. Legislator Benton, resolution approving the completed tax rolls of the several towns and cities and directing the execution and delivery of warrants for the collection of the taxes extended thereon pursuant to section 904 of real property tax law. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Ekins, yes. Amo, yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Diller, DeSalvo, Fagio, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number six. Legislators Benton and DeSalvo. Resolution provided for the establishment of a mandatory reserve fund for deposit of the proceeds from the sale of certain county real property formerly known as the YMCA building. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Ekis, yes. Amo, yes. Nagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Diller, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. And number seven. Legislators Benton and Turnbull. Resolution authorizing the Commissioner of Finance for the County of Orange to make refunds or corrections of taxes in the amount of $2,500 or less. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number eight. Legislators Bonasek and Kulasek. Resolution apportioning and levying expenses against certain cities and towns in the County of Orange to pay a portion of the election expenses incurred by the County of Orange for the year 2015 for the primary and general elections to be held during said year. Second. Discussion? Yes, Kevin. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I'm going to vote no on this, as I always do. I, I do uh, realize we're moving in the right direction, picking up a third of the expenses, but uh, I, for one, think the county should be paying all the expenses since we control the elections, we hire the people, and uh, we just give the town the bill. I don't think it's fair. I think we should just take care of it. I know we're moving in the right direction. I'm still a no until we're 100%. Thanks. Okay. Roll call. Honestly? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? No. Benton? Berkman? Yes. Benton uh, Cantorino? No. Cheney? Yes. Dillard? Yes. DeSalvo? No. Fagione? Hines? No. Chemnitz? No. Bulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vero? Yes. Brescia? 15 ayes, 5 noes. Okay, we're on number 9. Sorry. Legislators Amo and Bonasek. Resolution pursuant to Local Law Number 5 of 2015, Ethics and Disclosure Law. Section 8, Paragraph A, Amending Appendage A, List of the Positions of Certain County Officers and Local Political <coughs> Officers 
officials, I'm sorry, required to file a financial disclosure form by deleting the current list and adopting an amended list in its place. Second. Discussion, Minority Leader Ecos. May I have my name added to this, please? Yes, you may. Second. Jeff Walsall. Second. Roll call. Yes. Ecos. Yes. Amo. Yes. Nagnostakis. Benton. Berkman. Benton uh, Cantorino. Cheney. Dillard. DeSalvo. Baggione. Hines. Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Russia. 20 ayes. And number 10? Legislators Wadisek, DeSalvo, Berkman, Benton, Hines. Resolution making a supplemental appropriation to the 2016 Orange County budget for the Orange County Department of Human Resources pursuant to section 4.09 of the Orange County Charter. Second. Okay, Legislator Aidman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'd like to have my name added for sure to that. Uh, I, I think this is a subtle kind of an issue we're dealing with. Uh, uh, Legislator Dennis Simmons, and when he was here, and I talked a lot at meetings about the importance of having a, an, an educational function within our county so that we're able to guide our workforce in the direction that we want it to be gotten, we want it to move. Uh, it just doesn't happen because we decree or let it send out a press release. It takes time to help people understand what we as a government expect our employees to do. And I think it was quite interesting when, when Mr. Uh, uh, Gross came before our committee and was talking about the ethics law, which I'll get to in a second, he let us know there were just short of 8,000 people in Orange County that will be affected by this particular law that will need to get some level of training. And when you think about that kind of a task, it really then speaks to the issue of the importance of trying to educate a workforce so we, they can meet the expectations that we have. In the specific case of the ethics law, it's, it, it really is such a good law, and I think we're really trying to do the right thing for everybody, uh, and, and it really is important. But there are a lot of changes in that law, and there will be a lot of changes that will come later, both in terms of, uh, uh, well, primarily in terms of decisions by the ethics board that make rulings that sort of a, a help interpret the law that employees are gonna need to know about. And we have to also think about the turnover of employees that will come and leave our system. And when it comes in, it's fair that we, we make sure they understand what we expect from them in terms of this law that we wrote. So I think this is a really good beginning, and I really hope that, that we see it more as, as not just, oh, let, let's uh, you know, throw some money at a problem. Let's look at the function of how do we guide our workforce to move in the direction that we want them to move in. So I hope we can get a, we can get a full vote on this one. Thank you. Okay. Yes, Minority Leader Ekes. Thank you. Thank you. I, uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I wanted to really thank uh, Legislator Amo because I know since day one he's fought for this education aspect and it's very important. Because one of the things that we were brought aware of is ignorance of this law at any point in time is not a justifiable reason for not following the law. And I know that he is working very hard and we're in great hands with his eye on the on the bullet here about getting everybody educated. So I just wanted to thank him. Okay, yes, Bernard. Um, yes, I would hope that everybody would understand the importance of this ethics law. Personally, I regard it when we finally get it exactly right or as right as possible to become a model for the rest of the municipalities within the entire body of Orange County. I think that we all have to have a benchmark, and if we set an excellent one of achievement, we should all go for this to help get it there. Thank you. Thank you. I will say that originally the county exec was ready to roll this out with deliberate speed, thinking that's what we wanted, but in discussing it at the leadership meeting, I think he is sensitive to uh, doing it a little more incrementally and more thoroughly. So. Thank you, Michael Amo, for bringing that to our attention. Roll call. Honest? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Baggione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Bureau? Brescia? 20 ayes. Okay, number 12? Yes. Yes. It works, Steve. You can leave now. <laughs> Are we, I just lost my train of thought again. Are we 11 or are we on 12? We're 11, okay, 11. Legislators Vescovich and Turnbull, 
Resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under State Environmental Quality Review Act CEPR with respect to the intersection improvements of County Road Number 1, County Road Number 1A, County Road Number 41 in Blooms Corners Road in the Town of Warwick. Classifying the action as unlisted and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Second. Discussion? I'd like to be added. Yes, certainly. Steve. Uh, John also? Okay. Roko. Abanasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulsek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Gresham. 20 eyes. Okay. 12. Legislators Bonasek, Fagione, Kulsek, and Turnbull. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature assuming lead agency status under State Environmental Quality Review Act Seeker with respect to the Orange County Public Safety Communications Project, New Hampton, Deer Park, and Mount Hope. Classifying the action as unlisted and determining that the action will not have any significant adverse environmental impacts. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? No. Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Baggione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vero? Gresham? 19 eyes, one no. Okay, number 13. Legislators DeSalvo and Ekis. Resolution approving the adoption of a revised Orange County Emergency Medical Services Multiple Casualty Incident M MCI Plan. Second. Discussion? Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Diller? DeSalvo? Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 14. Legislators Bonasek and Ekis. Resolution authorizing the county executive to accept a donated 2009 Chevrolet Suburban Ambulance on behalf of the Orange County Department of Health Medical Examiner's Office pursuant to Section 215 of the county law. Thank you. A discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo, yep. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 15. <clears throat> Legislators Benton and Cheney. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature reappointing L. Stephen Brescia to the Orange County Industrial Development Agency pursuant to Sections 856 and 912 of General Municipal Law. Yes. You need a resume? <laughs> uh, I, think, uh, I don't know. I'll have to find it. <laughs> okay. Yes, Jeff. I'm going to vote for uh, the chairman to stay on the IPA. That's not the issue. But uh, And also, I, I believe I'm even to sponsor other reappointments. I just want to take this time to say that in the future, and I mentioned this in committee, we should keep our eye on uh, the idea of having a diversified board right, so that others can make valuable contributions as well. Roseanne. I, I just want to um, uh, say, I mean, I as well, I like the idea of having the chair of the legislature on this committee, on any committee, but um, particularly items 15 through 20 as a whole, um, I'm going to be voting no. It has nothing to do with the individuals who um, are being asked to be appointed. It, it has everything to do with my, um, uh, with the IDA in general, with their policies, with um, what I uh, see to be a lack of transparency. Um, um, that's it. But um, again, it has nothing to do with me. I think I voted these appointments down last year as well. Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Emo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Now, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 19 eyes, one no. Okay, number 16. 
Legislators Benton and Cheney. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature reappointing L. Stephen Brescia to the Orange County Funding Corporation, a local development corporation authorized pursuant to Section 1411 of the New York State Not for Profit Corporation Law. Thank you. Discussion? Just to let you know, the Funding Corporation is a separate arm which allows us to do some of the project expenditures that we do in the community, like the pass through for Colville Fire Department, Roseanne, and Middletown for the uh, the piece of movie equipment that was enabled us to get the Hoboken Film Festival and many other, um, you know, areas throughout the county, the Armory and the City of Newburgh especially. So, just to let you know that. Roll call. Madison? Yes. Ekes? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSavo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? No. Turnbull? Vero? Yes. Russia. 19 eyes, 1 no. Okay, number 17. Legislators Cheney and Berkman. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature reappointing Robert T. Armistead to the Orange County Industrial Development Agency pursuant to sections 856 and 912 of general municipal law. Second. Special, do you want to abstain? Okay, so granted. All, uh, roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ikes? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSavo? Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek abstaining? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? No. Turnbull? Bureau? Yes. Russia. Okay, number 18. Legislator Cheney and Berkman, resolution of the Orange County Legislature reappointing Robert T. Armistead to the Orange County Funding Corporation, a local development corporation authorized pursuant to Section 1411 of the New York State Not-for-Profit Corporation Law. Second. Okay, discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ikes? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Hanarino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Fagione? Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, no. Turnbull, Bureau, Brescia. 18 eyes, one abstention. Okay, number 19. Legislators Benton and Canarino. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature reappointing Mary Ellen Rogolsky to the Orange County Industrial Development Agency pursuant to sections 5, 856 and 912 of general municipal law. Second. A discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ikes? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Stain. Fagione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulasek? Paduk? Ruskevich? Sullivan? No. Turnbull? Bureau? Russia. 18 eyes, one abstention. And number 20? Legislators Benton and Cantorino. Resolution of the Orange County Legislature reappointing Mary Ellen Rogolsky to the Orange County Funding Corporation, a local development corporation authorized pursuant to Section 1411 of a New York State not for profit profit corporation law. Question? Roll call. Anasek? Yes. Ikes? Yes. Amo? Yes. Anagnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Stay. Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulasek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, no. Turnbull, Bureau, yes. Russia. 18 eyes, 1 no, 1 abstention. Okay, number 21. Legislators Cheney, Fagione, Bonasek, DeSalvo, and Berkman. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reallocate deputy clerk of the legislature at the Orange County Legislature pursuant to section 2.02 I of the Orange County Charter. Second. Okay, Berner wants to be added. Okay. Discussion? Minority Leader Ekes. Early wants to be added to? Um, <clears throat> I think it's a wonderful time to publicly thank all of the ladies, it happens to be ladies in our office, for everything they do year-round. They're magnificent. I thank them as leadership. They've been extremely helpful, and uh, I hope all of you have a wonderful holiday season. We'll see you back uh, after at the beginning of next year. Thank you.
Spirit yet. <laughs> okay. Roll call. Monson? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnes Dacus? Yes. Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Yes. Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Baggione? Hines? Chemnitz? Kulisek? Badu? Ruskevich? Sullivan? Turnbull? Vero? Brescia? 20 eyes. Okay. Number 22. Legislator Sullivan, Bureau, Benton, and Agnostakis. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to reclassify one assessor part-time to assessor at the Orange County Department of Finance, Division of Real Property Tax Service Agency, pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Orange County Charter. Discussion? Roll call. Bonasek? Yes. Ekis? Yes. Amo? Yes. And Agnostakis? Benton? Berkman? Cantorino? Cheney? Dillard? DeSalvo? Baggione? Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vera, Brescia. 20 eyes. Okay, number 23. Legislators Cheney, Paduk, Ekis, DeSavo. An act amending the appropriate Orange County employment schedules to create Corrections Lieutenant at the Orange County Office of the Sheriff, Corrections Division, pursuant to Section 2.02i of the Charter. Sorry, Orange County Charter. Okay. Discussion? Roll call. Yes. Ethis, yes. Amo, yes. Anagnostakis, Benton, Berkman, Cantorino, Cheney, Dillard, DeSalvo, Fagione, Hines, Chemnitz, Kulisek, Paduk, Ruskevich, Sullivan, Turnbull, Vero, Brescia. 20 eyes, Mr. Yeah. Chairman, and the desk is clear. Okay, I'd like to wish everybody a ha happy, healthy, safe, prosperous, thoroughly enjoyable holiday season. And remind everybody that we have the lunch at Kelly Jean's at noon for those of you who are coming. And with that, good day. It's at noon or? 11.30. Oh, it's 11.30. Okay, I stand corrected. Yeah. Okay, thank you.